Hey guys, welcome back to Two Cents Beat. My name is Sadie, and I am back with more Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. So last episode, on rounded up uh, all of the artisans from the page workshop. They were able to, you know, construct this uh, sugar confection statue and it ended up winning the festival and everything. And so now they have to go and like make a bunch of them. And you know, it was pretty much up to on if she wanted to stay because the terms of her working for the page workshop kind of like completed themselves. Like all she had to do was just get them the win, get them the dub, and then she could walk away if she wanted to, but she chose to stay. I don't know if we're gonna get like a time skip or like we're actually gonna see her, you know, helping the workshop, you know, figure out more of like their workflow and stuff, but Shawl is free. Oh, Mazzy jumped on the table. Shawl is free. Shawl is free. Shawl is his wing back and everything. So pretty much they are good to go. So how about we just jump on into this next episode and see what happens. Let's go. Oh. ね、ちょっと待って。ネクストマンズ。どこないかをして。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ。おまけ
Okay, now it's back to back to work, back to business. Mercury? The hell? What are you doing here? Why are you never where you're needed? Oh. Oh. So they're the backup. So they don't get it just because they won? That sucks. How very like you! <laughs> Obviously, most painfully. Uh, it's like, yeah, I know. I know. So he pops in at the beginning and then randomly throughout the two months. Oh, who the heck are you? A fairy? Oh, you look devious. Look, oh, his wings are interesting, too. Oh, another. Oh! She got another fairy? I bought him. Oh my god, this isn't the, the red parent though, right? <gasps> he sounds so sneaky! Oh my god. I want to see him and Shawl like eye each other off and then lightning strikes everywhere. Oh. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, they knew each other? What kind? Opal? Oh. Ambiguity. <gasps> no, don't tell me it is the redhead. Is there such a thing as like red opal? It can be found in black, blue, pink, orange, and red hues. Predominantly in white. Like, the fact that it's ambiguity makes it, like, sus. Oh my god! Is he really a companion fairy? Oh? Oh?おれに刺激者はいない。俺の羽は俺の手にある。何に人間と一緒に行動を？一体どういう？俺のことはいい。お前こそ。yeah, I was about to say, doesn't he also have freedom or whatever? <gasps> oh, that's right! Is it because he has strings? Oh! Hmm. Oh, that's right! As for fairies. Mm. No, he doesn't want that. Right. Oh. Oh my god, no, he's so sus. Oh. I kind of want to go back into like the previous episode to see if it's the same voice. Oh, man. Why? Say it. Oh my god, he is so... He is so suspicious and I love it. No, that's where it ends! So we got a lot of stuff going on. But, first of all, I don't think it's the same voice. So I don't think it's the same fairy unless it's like a switcheroo where he's like... His nature changes, like how Opal is ambiguous. So like his nature changes and therefore his voice kind of changes because I don't think it's the same voice actor. It could still be, I don't know though, I don't know. So we got a lot more world building um, this episode. They had mentioned this house back in like episode eight or seven or something when um, when On had to create that uh, figure or that statue for the Duke of Felix, I think. That's when they had first introduced this whole like House of Milland 
and how the whole house was like destroyed not just like physic not just the physical house but like the the people the um the crest has been removed and everything like they were just like completely erased from history so we got more world building about that which is awesome because i really did not think that we were going to be getting more of that like i thought it was an inch like back in episode you know, seven or eight, I thought it was an interesting little tidbit of world building, but I didn't think we were going to go back to it and have it be fleshed out more and actually like have the story take place within the castle that was mentioned earlier. So that's really cool. It makes me wonder like, is this, is the fall of this house going to be like crucial to something later on in, in the road, you know? Yeah, it just, it piques my interest. Like what else do we have in store? Actually, how about we just jump on into the next episode? Because I'm sure we're going to be getting more answers there. So, let's go. Oh, they changed the... They changed the subtitles. Since we are both precious stone and I am close to you. Oh, last time I said it was similar. Interesting. guess they changed the subbing. Why? Oh... <laughs> He does not want to associate with him at all. Oh, he looks so sneaky. Oh my God. I love, oh, I love those colors. I love how they're making Gladys just seem so villainous. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so another long day of work. Oh no. I have to sleep alone. Now you should really tell Shaw. Or maybe you'll just pass out. And you won't have to- Whoa. <gasps> oh my god! The hands! That was scary. Oh, caught him! What are you doing? Oh. The ghost may have died! <laughs> Shut up, On. <laughs> oh my god. Is he like a jester? He's got like striped pants. Reminds me of a Nikolai. Some bungo. A thief? <gasps> I'll defeat all of you. What do you mean defeat all of you? Oh. <gasps> Oh, has he been here this entire time? By himself? Fifteen years ago? Oh, don't say that! Oh, nice catch. That just... He can jump high. Oh, again? Oh, is he dead? Oh. Oh no, again! Oh, has he not have like any sugar? Any sugar apple? Wow. <laughs> Poor Luke, but. Do they have any they can spare to feed him? Probably not, right? Oh. That's odd. That's an odd order. Oh. Oh my god, sir. Oh, that's right. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, and then Shaw's gonna see this? She's <laughs> like, I'm going away. <laughs> Don't follow me. That was creepy. Oh my god! Oh, he's hiding that. <gasps> oh. oh my god. <gasps> he's trying to, like. Yeah, he's hiding. At the same time. Oh? 
I don't care how you... Oh, I think you should take interest in how he thinks. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! This man... This man knows about where Shaw was born? Mm. They're meant to be together? What? Oh, what? What does this mean? Yeah, with the princess. Oh, don't tell me he was born from like a similar area or something. Ah. Maybe he was born from the same place. Oh, there's there's like an opal. I think. Oh. We passed out again. Don't tell me this fairy's gonna die. Oh my god, is this fairy gonna die? This kid is gonna die. Oh my god. Oh, oh, yes, yes, save this kid. Because, <laughs> or else. Oh, look at how. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. I mean, that is true. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> the shine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, because that's where he touched. Oh, he's getting mad. Ah! My heart! Oh! My goodness! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! my god! <laughs> I was not prepared for this! <laughs> she just... Girl, same. <laughs> Oh my god, Shaw! Oh lord! <sighs> that was... <sighs> I don't think so. No, girl. Mm -mm. <gasps> there is a ghost. She's gonna be able to see it, clearly. Aww. Oh, the chess set. Oh, no, he seems so likable. Oh, this music's getting me to tear up. Oh, my God. Why is this episode so... Oh. <laughs> You're just as bad as... <laughs> oh. Oh my god, they could have been lovers. <laughs> goodness. I feel like they're writing them to be lovers. Like, oh my goodness. Bruh, is she getting like prophetic? Not prophetic, but like... Are they gonna explain why she's able to see the past in her dreams? Or is this just a plot convenience thing? Oh, why? Oh, because he didn't want him staying. He wanted him to leave. Oh. This is so sad! What is this? Bruh! I went from my heart going doki doki to my heart just being sad. What the hell is this episode? Ah! Oh. Why? And now, of course, it's raining. <sighs> mm, okay. <gasps> oh no, don't tell me part of the castle's. Oh no! <gasps> oh no, it's solidified! <gasps> Oh my god! No! 
You know, when I said it felt like they were setting them up to fail, I didn't really think it through. I was just saying that. Now I'm like, oh my god, they set them up to fail. I hate this episode. I hate this episode. Why did this episode get so good? Holy crap. Okay, so, so, okay. Oh my god, so many things are happening now, bruh. Okay, so Gladius, or Gl Gladys? I keep wanting to say Gladius, but I don't think this is Sparta, so. Anyway, so Gladys is being a little sneaky sneak and, like, he knows things that apparently nobody else should know but Shawl at this point. So he's suspicious. And he's doing things to, like, get under Shawl's skin. Like, he wants... He wants something from Shawl, for sure. And he knows things about Shawl. And it's like, what do you want? Why are you doing it? Like, like what? Are you a bad guy? What is his goal with Shaw? I don't know. I don't know what he wants from Shawl. But it's definitely clear that he's willing to use, like, on to get to Shawl. And then we have Noah, who's Noah's past is like super tragic. And like, like I could honestly have seen them being lovers. Like not even gonna lie. Like it's kind of like the opposite of with the Duke of Felix. Like with the Duke of Felix, the fairy is the one that went away and never came back. But now this time around, it's like the human's the one that left like the fairy there just waiting. And it's like, what is up with this? Why? Why? Of course. I mean, of course, it's the fall of an entire house, right? Like this huge uproar, obviously. So of course, there's going to be tragedy within it. But it's just like, ah, damn it, I'm a sucker for stories where like one person gets left behind or something. But, but then in the middle of all of that, like of like explaining this whole tragedy and stuff, we get that scene with Shaw, bruh. Oh my god, I was not prepared. I I was not prepared. I don't know about y'all. I, I don't know, but I was just so taken, caught off guard. Like, my goodness. The animators knew, too, because they added that little, like, shine to his lips. They were like, we're going to make his lips as nice and as luscious as, like, Gojo's lips. So, yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness. I mean, and it's, it's that trope of like, oh, I'm just purifying her because another person touched her or whatever. It's like, ah, it's a good trope. It's another good trope when done well. Ooh, it's getting good. It's getting good. So let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video. Check out the socials for more anime and manga content. Check out Patreon for early access and longer episode reactions. Don't forget to drink some water and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Bye!